Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So I'm at my shop. I got a few things going on. First of all, I'm working all day, every day at the studio uh, on Hot Rock Garage. Me and Alex are building some pretty cool stuff right now. I'm pretty jazzed to be doing that. Uh, in addition to that, I come to the shop at night. Uh, Mason is here during the day doing stuff, and then I come in and a little more progress back and forth. That way things are always moving forward. Um, here is the chassis we're doing for the 71. Um, got the LT motor just set in there. We're waiting on some parts from Holly. Uh, all the CPP stuff is on. All the Wilwood stuff is on. Uh, waiting on the rear end from Curry. But yeah, all the suspension set up. The rear uh, fuel tank is mounted. It's a cool tank. Fits pretty well. Fits, I mean, pretty nice. We had to do some. They had a bunch of weird stuff going on here. Weird reinforcements. We had to cut all that out when we see notched it. But uh, turning out pretty good. We're still going to disassemble it and put a better coat of paint on the thing. We had this sandblasted and just sort of slapped together. I uh, don't like to work in a big messy operation. So uh, uh, yeah, did that. And then also there was all kinds of sketchy holes we had to weld up and clean up, but it'll turn out really nice. Um, in addition to that, um, more progress on the Andrew 62. Rear end is all plumbed up. And I'm gonna put a couple of little Adels to hold that line. And it's sitting kind of funky right now, kind of high because uh, I was under it, got the tank mounted, had to build little outriggers for the tank. And there's actually a reinforcement bar inside there. Just for the weight of the tank when it has all the fuel. Pump is inside. This is LT or LS powered. Fuel lines are run and uh, we'll do some measurements. Going to cross-reference the mounting holes for the bed to determine where the uh, fill neck's going to go and punch a hole through that nice uh, oak that we got and then do a cool little flush mounted fill neck it should be all right and um oh yeah so uh back to this thing this is for that nice frame over there did a little snooping around in here i saw that somebody had made block off plates for the firewall and i started looking there's some firewall damage right there you can see there's a nice bend right here so this thing was obviously hit right in this area um, so we're going to pull that out and make it flush. And then I was looking at this block off plate trying to figure out why does that look so uh, so smooth? And is that silicone peeled out of the edge? And lo and behold, it did end up being silicone. And uh, yeah, they just it's like galvanized metal. You get like roofing metal you get from a... Home Depot and they just siliconed it on. It's not cool. I mean, it looked all right, but still not right. So we're gonna make an actual block off plate just inside this little divot all the way around and then uh, install that. Um, I got, I've made a couple of them um, and I, I weld quarter 20 bolts on it, punched through the stock holes, welded on from the back, put a nice gasket on it and bolt it on that way you're not really hacking up the car but this is sort of a custom build so i'm thinking that we'll probably plug weld it permanently seal it up and uh same with that right there um i'm going to route the heater hose through that area right there so it'll be in for out of this and into the wheel well area above the wheel well or into the fender area and then come out underneath and go to the motor um, this is going to be LT powered, so I'm going to try to keep the engine compartment looking kind of cool. We're actually going to get rid of the brake booster and go with Hydro Boost. Possibly go with Hydro Boost. He bought all the stuff, but I don't actually know how it's going to work on the LT motor. So, either way, coming right along. So I do a little update video. I do these sometimes for my customers so they can see the progress on their vehicles. And sometimes just for the YouTube channel and people who subscribe to me on YouTube just to see what's going on in my shop. I've also got some stuff cooking over in the other shop and uh, I'll be going over there later on. Maybe I'll make another video, but um, yeah, coming right along. Not hating it, one iota. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. See you later.